Hello everyone and welcome to another interesting discussion here on my channel. First of all, thank you for all your support. I'm going to upload several videos in these days, so stay tuned, okay? Today's topic will be Yadzi. Uh, many of you may not be so familiar with this game, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the rules. A Yadzi is a game where you have five dice that you have to roll in order to get several scoring combinations like uh, straight flash, full house, three of a kind, four of a kind, you get the idea, like the poker game. And the most important combination which is worth, well, 50 points in the game is called a Yadzi and it's obtained wherever the player rolls five dice that are all the same, so like uh, five fives, five fours and so on. This is pretty interesting statistics wise so I just decided to write a MATLAB code which uh, throws a Yadzi. Okay? So right off the bat, let's head to the program. Here, I called it a Yadzi. So I initialize a variable called rolls to zero, then an empty vector v. And while rolls is less than 10,000, so I set a maximum number of rolls that uh, are allowed to score. Then I fill in the vector with random numbers generated between 1 and 6, so just to simulate a dice machine. Then if the minimum of view is the maximum of view, so this means if the vector is all the same, all twos, all threes, then exit the cycle. Otherwise the rolls number is going to be uh, increased by one. And mm, basically the computer MATLAB will throw the dice until it gets a Yadzi. Uh, it, it could take a while, but the computer is pretty fast. Then uh, I clear the i variable, which uh, score uh, in the vector, so I don't need it. And it shows me the chance, the chance of getting that particular Yadzi in that number of rolls, as you can see here. Let's try this out. So run, and the result is on the common window, Yadzi. So I got a Yadzi of 1, as you can see here, after 1419 rolls, okay? And the chance of getting this after this times of rolls, this number of rolls, was of 1666.55%. Pretty high. Let's try again, just to show you many more. Oh, this time it was a lucky shot, in just 5... 167 rolls. You get the idea, this is pretty nice as a function, but the game, uh, I didn't tell you that the game uh, allows the player to throw three times, up to three times, until he gets a Yadzi. So you can throw your dice, decide whether to leave some on the, uh, on the ground, and throw again uh, the others in order to get a Yadzi in an easier way. F so for example I throw the dice the first time I get a tree, a tree and then other different dice. I'm going to keep the trees on the ground and throw again the other the others and so on until three throws. And that's why I improved my function and I uh, made the computer able to decide whether to leave some dice on the ground as I show here. So I initialize, initialize an empty vector called dice and a, a support vector called t. Then I fill in the dice for the first time and set the attempts to 1 because as I throw the dice they are already set so one attempt is gone. Then if the maximum of dice isn't equal to the minimum of dice, so is, if the vector is not the same yet, I have to try again, okay? And then I find the mode of the vector, which means the most frequent dice die. So, for instance, in the second example I did before, a mode is equal to three because I got two trees and then other dice. You get the idea. 
then k is the find the index so where those dice are located in my vector so if I generated a random vector which is 3, 1, 3, 4, 5 the two trees are located in the first and the third position and k is gonna track them then I have the while cycle so while attempt number is less than 3 because the 3 is the maximum allowed uh, I have to throw again the dice I don't want to keep so if length decay length ok was 3 for instance so I got in the first place 3 dice which are all the same now I'm gonna throw 2 dice so e the i variable goes from 1 to 5 minus 3 so from 1 to 2 I have to throw just 2 dice which are called in a t vector here then I um, update my variable dice I update my original vector and sh show what the dice are this time then if the minimum of dice this time is equal to the maximum of dice so I got a Yazi uh, it, it will display an, um, an advertisement it will display a you scored a Yazi of and the minimum of dice for so for instance you scored a Yazi of two okay otherwise I'm gonna increase uh, the number of attempts and then as last instruction I got to update the k variable so for instance if I throw in the first place three number twos then I have to um, update the um, variable wherever I get another 2 otherwise it will be wasted okay then if the if this on the seventh line is not true it will display uh, this message oh you were so lucky Yazi on the first shot so it just keeps all the retros it just uh, make the algorithm quicker otherwise if attempts is more or equal than 3 you failed so it will display a uh, message failed attempt so this is, this is the function it's not that complicated after all let's try run and then <coughs> let's check let's check on the common window oh I failed let's try again I failed again and I failed again and I failed again so scoring a Yazi is pretty hard you can see here the dice vector so I missed I got just three ones scoring a Yazi is pretty hard so let's try a little different let's call a vector throws of I will just post the video because I got so I got so just two minutes left so wait a bit here we are again I just made a vector called lunchy which means throws and I call this function ten times this function is written here throws yadzi it throws it just tries to uh, throw a yadzi in three attempts here until a maximum number of n so I just decided to make a vector w in which the computer shows um, how many Yadzi has scored in um, 100,000 of tries then multiplied by 10 it means on a million of throws as you can see the screen will change wildly so I will pause until it is finished it will take about 20 minutes so let's save the time okay see you later then here we are again I have just one minute left so this is the final result for each time I try a Yadzi in 100,000 times these are the numbers of Yadzi I score every time so in total, in total I have a million of tries let's calculate the mean of this vector so statistics tells us that the probability of scoring a Yadzi in three attempts is just 4.6% so this confirms my test 
see you to the next video guys have a nice day